The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us, I want you to listen to this beautiful hadith, <coughs> which is in Bukhari and Muslim. He said, Kayfa bikum? What will you do when? Kayfa bikum? What will you do when? Iraq, Iraq. منعت العراق قفيزها ودينارها. When Iraq is denied its currency, the قفيزها is the old currency of Iraq. What will be your state and what will you do when a sham, when its currency is denied? And what will you do when Egypt, its currency, will be denied? And you return to where you began in the first place. What does this mean? When Iraq is denied its currency, when a country falls, its currency falls as well, doesn't it? And you no longer deal with its currency. Another currency replaces it. Al Rasul Sallallahu or the narrator of this hadith, the Rasul Sallallahu was asked, How will it fall? And he said, By foreign intervention. Foreign intervention al ajam so iraq's currency will fall by the invasion and another currency will replace it then after that he placed it in sequence a sham's currency will be denied so a sham as a nation will fall again another currency will replace soon and it has to be by a foreign intervention Currently, we see only one part of it, inside. It's a bigger picture than what you think. Yes, this is one part of it. Yes, there are oppressors. There is an oppressor in there. Yes, there are oppressors. Yes, it is there. However, it is all a... It is one of the rocks, one of the plots within the bigger plan. Then the Rasul Sallallahu said, After Asham, he mentioned Misr. Egypt. You think it's over for Egypt right now? According to this hadith which is in Bukhari and Muslim, something else is coming up. When a currency of a nation falls, it means that the country itself falls and there is an invasion. As the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned over here. It's not happened to Egypt yet. But this is, seems like the sequence that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is informing us about it. He also said in another narration, this hadith by Abu Huraira, what does this mean? Allah, meaning the Romans or the non-Muslims who used to exist at the time of Islam when Islam ruled for more than a thousand years. They were non-Muslims who lived in, in the lands of Islam and they were called Dhummis. Meaning the ones who are entrusted to us. They lived in our lands and we gave them the right to live in peace and they had to pay something in return for our protection of them but not the Muslims. Muslims pay zakat they had to pay this thing called jizya which means that will protect you provide you today they say tax we call it jizya for the non-muslims who live among us only this is a type of agreement when this he said the people who used to do this before they will no longer do it anymore meaning they will be overpowering you and these are the types of people who will invade you now this is these are the facts and we see it today what has happened to Iraq is not something that anyone can deny. And what is now happening in Asham is both, both intervention within and outside. And it is yet to come. Asham, however, is totally different to the rest of the world. It is different to Iraq. It is different to Egypt. It is different to everything. Asham means Lebanon, Syria, parts of Jordan, Palestine. They call it today Israel. I'll call Israeli territories are in there. Palestine and parts of Turkey. This was a sham. And you know when after World War I what happened? They divided a sham. They concentrated on a sham to divide it into different states. Each one with a flag. And they turned the Arabs and Turks against each other because we were once one nation. It was called the last Khilafa al Uthmaniyya because we became materialistic and our pride of lineage and our pride of nationalism and our pride of racism crept into us this was the best way to plot and plan to break us apart until today look at us in misery 
فالرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said اتركوها فإنها منتنة Leave it alone for it is a stinking carcass It cannot bring anything, anything but misery, unhappiness and stench This is what's happening to us today